Welcome back to Harbaugh. Mitt Romney has been trying to make inroads with conservatives after being eviscerated by the likes of George Will earlier this week, and now it appears he's extending his hand all the way to the Tea Party. Romney spoke earlier today in an event sponsored by the Tea Party-aligned group Americans for Prosperity. But even though Romney seems to have accepted the Tea Party, will the Tea Party excuse me, ever accept him. Mark Meckler is the co-founder of the Tea Party Patriots, and David Korn is the Washington Bureau Chief of Mother Jones and an MSNBC political analyst. Mark, I have to start with you on the most basic question. Is Mitt Romney a Tea Partier? You know, I think fundamentally, if you look at his record, he's not what I would call a Tea Partier, and he has uh, serious differences with a lot of Tea Party folks on a lot of issues. What bugs you the most? Romney Care, give us a sense if you had to sit at a dinner with some pals of your of yours on the right and you were saying and somebody said, you know, I can live with Romney, what would you question? What would you go for? Well, I think fundamentally in the Tea Party movement, the, the buzzword for this year is principle. And you look at somebody who's changed his position a number of times on a number of key issues, and you have to doubt the principle of the man. And I think that's the fundamental issue with folks in the Tea Party. There's just a, a lack of trust. Do you believe there's any program or policy on which Mitt Romney would die? Would he take that position, stick to it, if it meant to defeat an election for president? Is there anything he will fight for and believe in? You know, that's hard, anything. That's hard for me to say. I can't, I can't say what's inside of the man. I can only tell now, you can that you historically, think of knowing if you look him, at the... You're a skeptic, <laughs> so try hard for a minute. Can you think of a single thing that he would give up the presidency for as a matter of principle? I'd rather have this principle you know, to honest... heart than be president. Yeah, yeah, and so honestly, I don't know the man. I, if, I, if, I, if I had to come up with one thing, I would probably say he seems like a good family man, and I think he would do well, what's right for We're not asking him to offer up hostages. <laughs> I mean, it's about a principle. So I'm serious. I'm David, that is the yeah. problem. Well, and this I, has nothing to do with left or right. It's I, a question I, of do you believe he right. will fight for anything, any position he right. takes isn't rubber with this guy. I think what you're hearing from Mark is the reason why he can't get above 22, 23, 24 percent in Republican polls. It's, you know, you can go down the list of issues that he's flip-flopped on, and people should have concerns about those, but I think they add up to a character issue. I mean, whatever, <clears throat> what, whatever you want to say about Barack Obama or John McCain in the past, or even George W. Bush and John Kerry, they had a consistency to their careers that brought them up to the nominees, nominations, and you could expect them to sort of go to the mat on certain things. You know, Barack Obama, you know, even the left didn't like what he did all the time on health care, but in the White House, people kept telling him, back off, back off. He said, I'm going to push ahead, even if this wrecks okay, my presidency. let's take a look at it. And Romney's not like that. Here's the latest Huntsman campaign web ad showing how Romney has flipped on issues. 12 million or so that are here illegally should be able to sign up for permanent residency or citizenship. We can't talk about amnesty. We cannot give amnesty to those who come here illegally. I don't think I've ever hired an illegal in my life. We hired a lawn, a lawn company to, to mow our lawn, and they had illegal immigrants that were working there. I believe that since Roe v. Wade has been the law for 20 years, that we should sustain and support it. I'm in favor of having the Supreme Court overturn Roe v. Wade. Wow, there are a lot of yep. 180s along that road. Yesterday, Romney tried to defend himself against the charges of flip-flopping to the Seacoast Media Editorial Board. Let's listen. I think you'll find that, that I've been in, uh, as consistent as, as human beings can be as I look at those issues and as I try and ap apply those principles uh, to government. I cannot state every single issue in exactly the same words every single time. He's even oh, flip-flopping on flip-flopping. I mean, Mark, uh, here's a guy who says, I simply rephrased my position while he was for a man-made climate change before a week ago. Now he doesn't believe there is such a thing. He was against, he was for limiting CO2 emissions. Now he says we should definitely not do that. He was for uh, a basically a woman's right to choose an abortion. He's now completely against that now. I mean, I haven't been able to locate it. What do you make of his charge? All I do on every single issue is to use different phrasing, different words each time. <laughs> Well, he sounds like a politician. Frankly, he sounds like the president. And the idea that President Obama has been entirely consistent is absurd as well. The vast majority of politicians from the president on down do this regularly. The citizens don't like it, left or right. We're tired of it. We're sick of it. That's one of the reasons people are sick of this president. And, and I don't think they like it from Romney any better. Where's well, the president flipped, by the way? Give me some examples. 
Well, I'll give you a perfect example. One of the things that the president promised to do immediately upon taking office was to close Guantanamo Bay. Clearly, that we hasn't been done. He tried to do it. He tried to do it. He tried to do it. You're up. You're up. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Mark, Mark. Mark. We, he got beat. He can't. Hold on, Chris. We, he, he is the president. Make your turn. Make your point. The, You're saying you can do it by fiat? He, by he, fiat. He's done Just all do kinds it. of stuff by fiat, hasn't he? No, no, that actually, is how the, he, this president Mark, has Mark, operated largely by fiat. Mark, 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 you're wrong on the facts here. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 there was a bill passed last year under the Republican guy leadership saying that he's not allowed to move prisoners from Guantanamo. He's not permitted to do this under U.S. law passed by the Congress. So he can't do this by fiat. They, they took away in the first ter first year money from the Defense Department. That they would let him close down Guantanamo. And Democrats, too, some, not, not a majority, but some Democrats went along with that as well. So he made this promise. He's been trying hard to do it, and he ran into a roadblock. But more, I think, but more importantly, going back to, to Mitt Romney, if, if, if I may. That's, that's absurd. You're, you're an apologist for him for two no, years. No, those are the he had facts. both houses you know, of Congress. I'll, I'll bet you a thousand he had two bucks, years those are the of facts. Congress where he was in control of both houses of Congress, and he you did not have push for that issue. He's a flip flopper. He is a flip flop. There was no if, filibuster. Okay, if Guantanamo so the yeah. best you okay, can do Mark, Mark, you opened up this door, <laughs> and I want to ask you this. Give me an example where he's changed positions, where he says, I want to do something, and then he says, no, I want to do the opposite, like Romney's done, where he's flipped 180 on a position, just, not on capability. You know how the Constitution works. There's always that 60-vote bar doing something <laughs> you may want to do. I know how the Constitution laughing? works. It seems like our president doesn't know how the Constitution works. Because, how so? Look, guys, you guys are so partisan. This is about well, just politicians. Well, you're the one who's this is about well, you're all partisan. This is about, so let's go on from this there. This is about I'm this is about all Americans, and all Americans are sick and tired of whether it's Mitt Romney, whether okay, it's President Obama. You, you said know. John McCain. I won't defend. I won't defend John McCain. John McCain flip flopped on issues. These folks do it all the time. It doesn't really matter whether they're Republican or Democrat. They're not serving the citizens of America. They're not standing on principle, and it isn't divided by party line. It's very. It's very easy to say. You know, I speak for all Americans. You know, all Americans don't support Barack Obama or the Republican. Republicans in Congress, they divide and they judge these people and their changes and their actions and failures to act across a wide spectrum. Now, it's easy to come out and say they're all the same, but at the end of the day, the Tea Party has gotten behind a lot of Republicans and put them in office, and these guys have not made things better, and they've put up roadblocks <coughs> Let's, to uh, compromise and reasonable action. Look, I understand Washington. your attitude about politicians, and by the way, generally, I accept the attitude that a lot of these guys are slippery. Look, generally, you're right. I've worked with them. Let me tell you, they want to survive. My question to you, and it's a tough one. Please give me a straight answer, Mark. You must be a straight guy. Here it is. Do you feel there must be some people on the right whose attitude is, you know, I'd rather beat the brains out of Barack Obama for a few more years than have to stand up like some dunce and defend Mitt Romney for eight years as if he were my guy? <laughs> Do you ever hear that sentiment? Because yeah, Joe, Joe Scarborough hears I, that I sentiment. I haven't heard... I haven't heard it's put that way, but I can tell you I've definitely heard people who are personally and deeply uncomfortable with the idea of supporting Mitt Romney. Absolutely. And I hear it regularly. Could you vote for him for president? Could I vote for him for president? Yeah. To me, the most important thing is to change the direction of the country, and I will vote for whoever I believe can remove Barack Obama from the White House. Absolutely. I heard so, you. so even a flip, even a flip flopper. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think we heard him, <laughs> David Coyne. Thank you, Mark Meckler. Please come back. I think you're thank wrong you. about Obama. He just isn't as strong as you think he is. He can't do anything he wants. He's not Superman. Up next, Elizabeth Warren versus Scott Brown. This is going to be the race of the century. It's already getting hot. I didn't think anybody could beat Brown. I think she can. She's a real liberal. Can she do? it that way from ideology from principle can she beat him as a liberal what a great question of course it is massachusetts this is hardball only in msnbc my name is daniel northcutt i'm jennifer northcutt opening a restaurant is utterly terrifying we lost well over half of our funding when everything took a big dip i don't think